will I give up? We will continue the lesson. So I'm going to draw this uh, shape so the diagram is given. We will start uh, drawing this shape. Uh, I'll take the wireframe module. We can use the convertibility tool to sketch this. So I'll take the sketch plane. This is my sketch plane to start the sketching. And I'm going to use the convertibility tool and convert this. We can convert this line. This boundary to a line and this one also. And uh, it's okay now. Then I can use the normal line to the dimensions this is 22 and this line to this line is 22 and from here to here it's 47 something from this one so I try to go a full line from here to here it's 37 and we have something like this. So we will put the dimensions oh, there is an error popping up so I will try to rectify that this line length should be 47 so Forty-seven twenty-two. So this is something wrong with my drawing. I will just check what's going on. From here to here, twenty-two. And we can trim this unnecessary part. Then this line is fifteen. So I can draw a line in the fifteen. Then this arc is 10, so I will draw a 3 point arc. Okay, this one, this one, this one, then we can apply a radius, it's 10. But the center point uh, of the arc is here. So the center point is coincide with this line. So you can get the shape now. So it's a fully defined sketch. 15, 47, 22, 10. This is a fully defined sketch. So if I just apply the colors again, you can see my boundary.
I will uh, ex export this extrusion length will be fifteen from this and uh, extrusion height is fifteen from here five is going to so we will extrude this. This one also. It's fifteen. So I ex I exploded the part here, but I didn't draw this sketch. So I will discuss uh, how to do three D mirror now. There are tools available to do with 3D mirror. So we will look at the 3D mirror tool. Rather than sketching 2D and get the 2D mirror, we can get the 3D mirror. We will discuss this in detail in the next chapter. So I am going to do a 3D mirror. I'm going to mirror this feature, last feature. And the mirror plane is displayed. So we we can get a 3D mirror. So I obtained the shapes now. 3D model complete complete. Then we'll apply the shell tool. Shell thickness is one millimeter it's given as one millimeter. So I'll try to apply shell to this entire face. One millimeter shell thickness. And it's an inward shell. Yes, okay. Should work. See how it comes. So shell operation is really handy operation. You can quickly get it, get the output from the shell operations. So I did the shell. Uh, I applied the shell operation. Then, uh, then we can drill the holes and complete the design. So I hope you can do it by yourself. Uh, so drilling this is nothing so this is 16 millimeters so we can select this and draw a circle on the center it's 16 millimeter diameter and we can have a screw cut better you do it up to next row I don't do through hole and up to next. So this is the hole appearing. Then we have other holes. So I hope you can continue the drawing like this. So in this drawing we mainly discuss how to handle the complex solitaire's design and how to apply the shell feature. So you can apply the fillets also. Uh, fillet diameter is given, so if I just go here and look at the fillet radiuses, it's given, uh, you can have the fillet expert, 2 millimeter radius given, so we can apply the fillets, 2 millimeter radius, constant sizes, to these edges, like this say, we can complete our model. So, if you want, you can ask the software to do it, or else one by one, you can apply this. Now there is an error coming, so if the error comes like this, if an error comes like this, you do it by part by part. So two radius is applied like this. So I hope you can continue the drawing. Uh, and complete this without any issues. If you have any problems, please do contact us. Thank you.